hey everyone cargo bike cowboy here uh, got a new product to show you something I bought for the, the big dummy uh, I just want to say this video is gonna be kind of long and it's not the setting I wanted but sometimes you got to take what you can get because of the inclement weather we're having here it's gonna rain the rest of the week and I, I didn't want this setting but sometimes like I said you got to take what you can get please remember to like share and subscribe liking my videos if you if you do enjoy them really helps my channel and i would appreciate it so with that being said what i'm about to show you is a trailer that you can pull behind any bicycle and it's made by tipkey it's called the folded trailer tipkey is t-i-p-k-e and this trailer is all aluminum it's marine grade aluminum and it has many features so even though the video is gonna be a little long make sure you watch it to the end so that you can see all of its features all right so let's 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 get to it all right I got it now you're gonna have to bear with me as I move this camera around because I'm I'm all alone I don't have anyone to help me film so just check it out camera back and down so there's the big dummy you can see the arm attached straighten this camera up and there's the little tipkey folded trailer it's got mag wheels it's got some very unique features you can see I got a big big safety flag on there so everybody can see it there's a light on the back also now let's go up here to the big dummy so you can see the hitch so this thing's made to attach to your seat post which is never going to happen for the big dummy because it's a long tail so what I did was I made my own attachment this is a seat post I had in the shop I used an L bracket it's a big hook to keep the seat post from being pulled forward and snapped off there I got four bolts one two three and four drilled through the dummy deck, bolted down, there's no way that's coming off there. It would take a tremendous amount of force to snap that off. Now this hitch right here is very unique in the way it works. There's a bolt and they give you an Allen key with it. And what you do, once you get the hitch on there, you tighten this down, which pushes this little clamp forward and secures it to the seat post. So when you want to remove it, you simply loosen the bolt, Now this bracket down here is to keep this, if it were to vibrate loose and fall down, it won't reach the dummy deck. That's very important. So then there's a pin. You pull the ring up, pull the pin, and the hitch comes apart. You see that? It's very simple, but also very, it's a very good design. Really easy to use. And it articulates up and down, side to side, and this swivels. So you got all the movement you would need in a trailer. Now this nylon piece with the rivet in it, I'm not crazy about. But that is not plastic, it's a nylon material. So it should last a long time. So now let's get to the trailer itself. And then we'll go over to hitch for it. I gotta bring this camera down some more, so just bear with me for a minute. Let's get it down here a little more. There we go. Now, as you can see, I've got a bunch of stuff loaded in there like I was going on a trip. I got my cook kit, got some extra tires, got two sleeping mats on there. One of them lashed to the front. 
So let me let me remove all this stuff and then we'll go over some of the unique features of the trailer. Here's another unique feature of the trailer. It comes with these two little legs, push pins. All you gotta do is push the pin in, and then they insert right here. And that's to keep the trailer level. And there's one for each side, okay? We need to get a better camera angle on this thing here. So let's let's raise this up. Bring this down. All right, so like I said, this trailer is lightweight at 33 pounds. It practically weighs nothing. I mean, nothing. Pick it up with two hands, nice and lightweight. The other unique thing about this trailer is it folds up completely flat. And to do that, you have to remove the arms for the bicycle attachment. Then this is what they call the rear gate just comes right off then you have the other set of arms that come with it and they unfold right in center they're tied together they got some nice rubbery grips on them you insert the handle into each side and then it locks in this is so that you can pull it by hand okay but then, if you remove the rear gate, once you remove the rear gate, you simply press these pins in to release it. bottom is cross braced with some C-channel, push the middle in, let me, let me adjust the camera here, pull the handles down, like that, And there you have it. The trailer is completely folded in half, ready for storage. And the rear gate slides in between here. Now mine won't slide in there anymore because of the tail light I have on the back of the gate. But that's how it works, you know, without that on there.
another unique feature of this trailer is it comes with this. This is your screwdriver, okay? If you have to do wheel maintenance. Let me get the camera down here a little more. Simply lay it down, take your tool, undo the screw, screw and the plate come off then the wheel simply lifts off and if you look in there there's a metal shaft there's no bearings and then what you got down here is a metal shaft and all you have to do is keep that shaft lubed up they send you some lube and that's what I used to start but I'll probably put some park tool grease on there because I like that better and then the wheel just simply slides on there they're pneumatic wheels by the way you just air them up 20 inch wheel 20 by 1.75s. Slide the wheel back on. Put your screw back in. Use your handy dandy little tool. Tighten it back up. Then to unfold it, simply release the handles, pull them forward. This opens up. Pop it down into place. Pull the handles forward till they lock. And now you've got a utility cart. Now if you were using this to tour, and let's say your bike had a really bad mechanical malfunction and you needed to get somewhere where you can get the parts. You could literally throw all your stuff in here, throw the bicycle across the top, strap it down, and you, you could still walk. Take off all your stuff intact. This trailer is rated at 330 pounds is what it's rated to, to, pull, to have in it to meet its load capacity with this handle with this handle. With the trailer hitch handle, it's only rated at 200 pounds. And that's fine because 200 pounds falling behind a bicycle is a lot of weight. Now, the only thing this, this trailer does not have that I do not like is some tie down points. But I'm gonna remedy that by attaching my own tie down points probably in the form of a little hook or an, or an eye or an eye bolt three on each side so I have some points to lash stuff down and I have not got to do extensive testing with this trailer like taking out a long ride I didn't get to do that because of the weather this weekend but this is just the introduction to the trailer in upcoming videos you'll see its use and we'll have a later review after I've used it for a while to see how well it holds up so remember if you if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. Tell your friends, tell them to hit the like button. Helps the channel. Appreciate it. It's Cargo Bike Cowboy. I'm out.